Hey YouTube, welcome back to Luke's Amateur. I've got a different uh, a trick for you tonight. As I go grab my beer. Uh, so, I said a while ago, I replaced the dishwasher because the dishwasher we had was all borked. So, um, what happened was a glass broke in the bottom of our dishwasher and it just made a really nasty sound. So I assumed that there was something broke on the inside. Um, I was right, and I'm gonna show you in a second here. But uh, you might not recognize this in the pieces it is, but honestly, it was seven. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, uh, nine screws. So one, two, three, four on the bottom, and then a couple taking off a shroud that covered this motor. And I'll, I'll show you how to reassemble it um, now that I took it apart. I, I would have shown you the disassembly, but my my battery died. It's, it's a little embarrassing. Um, anyway, so you disassemble it. I, I released this one little valve here, this uh, lock thing or dealy here. Uh, and then it pulls the whole bottom. And if you look in the bottom of dishwasher, sometimes you'll see this, this grate in the bottom. The whole thing pulls out from the inside. So I, I had the, I had it laid on its back and I unscrewed everything from the bottom and it the bottom practically fell into the dishwasher. So I had to open it up and haul the thing out. So this is the thing. Uh, and I'd show it, I'd turn it over to show you, but I wanted to show you, this is the motor. And the motor has just got some, uh, some uh, gaskets here, and it's got your impeller here, and that's spinning, and this was spinning. So I'm like, okay, the motor's not borked. I just think I got something stuck in there. So I finally, little prying, tried to be as light as I could so I didn't chowder up the plastic too much. I, I think it's still good because that's really tacky there still. That's good, this is in great shape. So I, uh, I managed to pry the motor out and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like when I go back in there. But I tend to cut myself on this stuff. I told you I'd use these all the time, but If we look, there's our culprit. That was stuck right there. And that's where the impeller takes the water out of the dishwasher and shoves it out the exit gates here. Uh, just a piece of glass. Pretty sizable one at that too. I mean, that's, you know, this, this uh, great, over here is meant to keep stuff out. How this got past, I'm uncertain, but that stopped my dishwasher. So now, if I can assemble this thing, I will have a working dishwasher. And, uh, sorry, I'm probably getting my hat in that shot, but I wanna make sure there's nothing else in here that's gonna mess with this, this glass. Uh, so I didn't see anything else and that's the one place that it would be. So, um, the neat thing about this motor, we're going to take, take a look at this motor really quick. Uh, boom. Made in the USA, one and a half horsepower, 115 volts, obviously 40 Hertz, three amps, um, 40 degrees Celsius ambient insulation, whatever, uh, thermally protected made in the USA. I dig it, Quantum, Emerson, whatever. Um, so, seems like a pretty serious motor. I mean, the, the, we never had a problem with the dishwasher actually, you know, emptying out. So, um, so this goes in as such. And it looks to be just a press fit. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to prep, oop, there is a, a little spot on the bottom, a detent to make sure it goes in the correct way. That's it, that's it. I remounted the motor. We're gonna go back over to the other spot. I'm gonna try a different tripod setup on the, on the, uh, on the dealy bopper that's taking the what's it's, uh, and see if I can get you guys in close while I put the last couple things in to put this back together. So I'll be right back. All right, 
We're back at the dishwasher. I got it laid on its back. I pushed this whole unit, you can see, just this guy here. I pushed it back in from the inside, which is a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. And check it out. This is all the pieces. Sorry, weird for me to check this out. All the pieces I used to take this apart. There ain't much to it. Uh, and I do apologize, my uh, camera's on not as steady of a mount, so uh, you're getting what you're getting, and that's all I can do for you. So these little things go over like that, and then this guy gets fed in here, and if I can get them started, they take T20s, and luckily I had a T20 bit. Started. This guy up in there. I'm not doing so great here. Really, not much to it if I can get that. And that just tightens down the gasket. There's a gasket between the dishwasher and this guard here. That just tightens that down real nice. And so we'll do that one. I think you guys can see all of this. I'm pretty sure, fairly certain. So, it really not that bad. Not that bad of a fix. You know, if anybody's busted something up on the inside of their dishwasher and they're, uh, they're here, noise I bet something got up in your impeller that's what it sounded like to me like the engine motor was stalling out sure enough it was I'm gonna change the torque settings on my drill so I don't strip out screws or anything like that so Let's see, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to adjust this quite a bit, I think. But we'll get there, we'll get there. I'm gonna get these four in, and I'll bring you right back. Take, you know, take a nap or something, have a beer. Okay, I hope you guys aren't uneven there. Square? I don't know, it's hard for me to tell. Is that square? Yeah, sure, good enough. Okay, so what I did was I got these four connections in. It's sitting on a bucket in here. And so it's just a screw that screws through this little bracket that draws the bottom down so that the gasket seals. Uh, so the gasket all the way around there. And then, what was the next step? Uh, uh, not much else, actually. So this motor, goes in this little housing here, and the housing is, it, it doesn't do anything, all right? I, I could honestly skip this step. Uh, this housing here, uh, gotta shroud up the motor here, but I'm gonna leave it on. I'm gonna put it back on. It's a bit of a pain, uh, you know, whatever, but it is what it is, so we'll just lift that up until it fits in there, and then, I will say, this is a little bit of a pain because of the fastener that is used on this. You want to know what fastener is used? Freaking T20. A T20. Really? Not a T25. A T20. I have one drill bit. It's a two-incher or whatever for the T20. Luckily, I have my nice Philo stainless steels with the T20. Um, to get started, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Bit of a pain. Um, but it's all T20, which is really nice. So once you get the screw, you're done. You know, there, there, there's nothing more to it. Um, personally, I like using a drill a little more than a screwdriver even when I do have a really nice screwdriver and that is 
a really nice screwdriver. Um, it, it can become a pain though on these on these fasteners because sometimes sometimes I'm trying to magnetize it sometimes they don't go in very well I'm getting a low battery warning I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and show you guys when I'm all done but that's pretty much it I'm Luke I'm an amateur the only thing left on here is connect the tube up and plug it in somewhere and test it dishwasher fixed crazy times hey if you like my stuff, hit like. If you think I missed something or something else I should check, please tell me in the comments down, down below. And uh, go ahead and subscribe. You'll see some more of this stuff. Have a good evening, YouTube. Cheers. All right. I'm back at this one. I just wanted to do a wrap-up of the, uh, the dishwasher video. You can see that I got the dishwasher upright again. I said a couple things wrong in the last one uh, and I wanted to set the record straight here. So uh, first off, uh, this this thing in here, this, this plastic grate thing that snaps on uh, is a real pain to snap on. I mean, I had a different pick sets and a dead blow hammer going on that thing. I eventually got it back in, but geez, man, holy crap, uh, finally got it, but whatever. And then that little crossbar thing right there, sorry for the shakiness here, crossbar thing right there just, just plunks right in the middle. So that one was super easy. So this is all packaged up, ready to go. I also, another thing that I got wrong, uh, I don't know if I can actually give you a view of it here. Um, eh, maybe not. So you'll get my hands. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the, the shroud that went over the motor that went underneath was actually necessary. Um, and the reason it was necessary, uh, actually, uh, let me set you down real quick. I'm going to flip this on its back so I can actually show you. This. It's garbage video can't actually see what I'm talking about so <clears throat> no big deal and it should be noted that dishwashers only go upright or on their back um, you shouldn't put it any other way let's see what you guys can see now focus okay so that shroud that goes around the motor Ooh. All right, so I can point better with this. This guy right here. Um, it serves more than no purpose at all, and I couldn't have skipped that step uh, and still had a functioning dishwasher. The reason is, see this detent right here? That clicks in, and it holds the shroud in a certain position, and on the back of the shroud, there's a hole that holds the motor in a, uh, up, holds the motor up so that the impeller is seated correctly uh, the gaskets around the impeller are seated correctly so that it can function so I couldn't actually skip that step I needed that step in order to be successful in the dishwasher repair another thing that I had incorrectly was I mentioned uh, uh, that I only had one bit uh, this T20 right here the extended T20. Um, I had this little bit set forever. This is one of the first tool things that I bought uh, when I lived in my condo. Uh, figured it'd be useful. Turns out, after looking today with less beers in me, uh, I do have a T20 small bit set and that actually would work in my nifty Wera bit driver, which would have been nice because the tip is magnetic. So I wouldn't have lost the stinking screw like I did when I was trying to reassemble it. Anyway, I wanted to come clean on those two things. I uh, definitely needed the, uh, the case for the motor, uh, needed the, the shroud around the motor, and then uh, the last part of assembly was that blue and white wire that's going right there. I just had to plug that into the motor. So that was it. I, I mean, you guys saw all of it. It was one, two, three, four screws to mount the whole fixture, and then one, two, three, for five screws to mount the motor into the whole bottom fixture thing. The hardest part was honestly putting that grate on the inside of the dishwasher connecting onto the bottom here. 
real pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, I learned something today, hope maybe you guys did, that dishwashers, if you have a problem, not really a big deal. Just uh, pop it on its, you gotta pull it out, pop it on its back, take a look at the guts. If something's really messed up, it should be obvious. This one was really easy, just pulled some glass out of there. Anyway, uh, my name's Luke, I'm an amateur. This one didn't take an hour. Thanks for following along YouTube. Have a great night.